let's solve some simultaneous equation. So we've got the first equation, 3x is equal to 4 plus 2y, and y is equal to 5 minus 2x. Now, there are different ways of solving simultaneous equation. It depends on the question. Okay, so here I'm looking at, say, I'm looking at 2y, and I'm looking at y. So I'm thinking, can I write this, the first equation, suppose let me call this equation 1, and this equation two. So my thinking cap, putting my thinking cap on, I'm thinking, how can I write this as y? So let me write equation one out again. So well, three x is equal to four plus two y. So my focus is on y because in second equation, I can see y is equal to five minus two x. So if I want to write this as y, from 2y, if I want to get y, what should I do? Well, I have to divide by 2. If I divide this by 2, you have to also divide this by 2. You have to also divide this by 2. So this equation changes to 3 divided by 2 is 1.5x. 1.5x is equal to 2 plus y. Okay. So basically what we've done is we have half the whole equation, become half. Now I want to write this as terms of y. So I will, I'm going to take away two from this side. So to take away two from this side. So what will happen is my negative y, negative two plus two gets canceled. So this equation is y is equal to 1.5x minus two. So this is in terms of y, and this is already in terms of y. Okay, so here let me write the equation again. So let me write this again in like this. So y is equal to 1.5x, take away 2 or minus 2. This is this equation, the same thing. And this I am writing y is equal to negative 2x plus 5. Okay, so now you need to stop and think if you can do it yourself. So let me write, you can pause this video and try to do the next yourself. Okay, now I will use a simple logic. Okay, so let me write a simple number equation. Say 7 is equal to 5 plus 2. Okay, and 7 is also... Uh, let me make a wacky equation, say minus 10, minus 10 plus 17. So 5 plus 2 is 7, negative 10 plus 17 is also 7. So this implies, or this means, 5 plus 2 is same as negative 10 plus 17. So this is, that is all about using your simple logical reasoning. So using this example, what can you say about these two equations? We are saying y is equal to 1.5x minus 2, and y is minus 2x plus 5. So using the same logic, I can say 1.5x take away 2 is equal to negative 2x plus 5. Okay, now what can we do? I want to bring the x's on one side and the numbers on the other side. So I don't want negative 2x, so I'm going to add 2x to this side. So to add 2x to this side. I want, I don't want negative 2 here, so I'm going to add 2 to this side, to add 2 to this side. Okay, so now this has become two sides of an equation. So this and this gets cancelled, this and this gets cancelled. So you're left with 3.5x is equal to 7. Now I want to cancel this 3.5, so I'm going to divide by 3.5 to this side. So to divide this by 3.5. So 3.5 and 3.5 get cancelled, so x is 7 divided by 3.5. Now, 
if you want to do without a calculator, 7 divided by 3.5 is same as 70 divided by 35. Okay, or in other words, you're asking, you can divide 7 into how many 3 and a halves? Well, there are two 3 and a halves, okay, even if you don't understand this step. What is this asking you? 7 into 3 halves. So there are how many 3 and a half in 7? So, well, there are 2. So x is equal to 2. Now we're going to substitute the value of x is equal to 2 back in the equation, one of the equation. So we've got you can put this equation or this equation. So I like this equation. I'm going to write this equation again. Y is equal to 1.5x minus 2. Okay, so which is 1.5 times 2 minus 1. Okay, so that gives you y is equal to, this is 3 minus 1, which is 2. So x is 2 and y is also 2. Okay, that's interesting. So x is 2 and y is 2. So let's check our answer. So you always, this is one practice that you need to have. x is 2 and y is 2. Don't believe your answer until you have checked it. Okay, so yeah, what we are saying is 3 times 2, 3 times 2, x is 2 is equal to 4, am I doing something wrong, x is 2 and, oh yeah, I made a mistake, yeah, I got to pick my mistake, so it's always good to check, okay, so this is, this should be 2, okay, and this is 2, so if you take away 2 from here, so y is not 2, y is 1, it's good practice, so this is what I'm saying, when you check your answer, you'll always find, or most of the times you'll find, that you have done a mistake. So this is how I find my mistake. So the y is 1. So now, okay, so let's check. So what are we saying? 3 times x, so 3 times 2 is equal to 4 plus 2 times 1. Does it make sense? Yes, so this is 6, and this is also 6. Okay, so what is this equation? y is 1, so 1, the second equation is telling you, 1 is equal to 5 minus 2 times 2. So this is 5 minus 4, which is 1. Okay, so both ways we have checked. So this is the next equation. You can pause this video and try to do this yourself, if you can. Okay, and uh, this is one more equation, if you want to do this equation ahead of time, you can pause and do it. Okay, so I'll do, I will not do this question. This is something that you can do yourself, but let me do this. Okay, so again, I'm thinking, I'm going to do this faster now. I'm going to, let me write this, 5x is equal to 30 minus 2y. I can see a negative y here and I've got a negative 2y. I'm thinking, can I write this as a negative y or a y? So, well, I can. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide the whole thing by 2. 2, 2, 2. Next is fun if you take it lightly or not lightly in the sense, make it trivial. If you use your simple logic. So, 5 divided by 2 is 2.5x is equal to 15 minus y. 15 minus y is 2.5x. So this is, I'll call this, okay, I'll leave it here. Now, this is this equation here. So let me write this equation down here. So 3x minus y is equal to 7. Okay, what can I do? I can, can I write this in terms of y. Okay, so I'm going to, okay, what can I do? I'm going to multiply the whole thing. I want to write this as y, so if you move this negative y to this side, I can move this to this side. 
So this is 3x minus 7 is equal to y. Okay, I hope you understand. Okay, how can I explain this in a different way? Okay, so what we are doing is you are adding. Okay, so if you want to, those who don't understand this way, I don't want y's, negative y's, I want to cancel y's. If you add y to this side, you have to add y to this side, okay? And so this and this gets canceled. And don't I don't want 7 here. This is messy, okay? So if you take away 7 from this side, you have to take away 7 from this side. Okay, so this and this gets cancelled. So what is remaining is y is equal to 3x minus 7. Okay, so now I'm going to do this. Uh, I also want to write this as y. So I don't want negative y, so I'm going to add y to this side. So to add. Okay, so what can I do? Okay, I'll add y to this side. Okay, so... This is messy, getting messy here. Okay, let me think how to do this smartly. So this is minus y. Okay, let me write here minus y. I want to write this as y. So I'm going to multiply the whole thing by negative 1. Okay, so this will become negative 2.5x is equal to negative 15 plus y. I multiply the whole thing by negative 1. Now I'm going to add 15 to this side. Let's add 15 to this side. So this gets cancelled. y is equal to 15 or minus 2.5x or negative 2.5x plus 15. Okay, so you have got two equations now in terms of y. So I can write 3x minus 7 is equal to negative 2.5x plus 15. Okay, so this is a messy example. Okay, I'll try to finish it off. So this is plus 2.5x to this side and plus 2.5 to this side. I want 7 to, I'm adding 7 to this side, 7 to this side. So these are two sides of an equation. So this becomes, this and this gets cancelled, this and this gets cancelled. So this is 5.5x is equal to 22. I don't like this 5.5, so I'm going to times this by 10. So I'm also times this by 10. So this is 55x is equal to 220. Okay, because it's difficult to divide by point. So I'm going to divide this by 55. I'm going to also divide this by 55. So x is equal to, this can I write as 11 times 20 over 11 times 5. I'm showing you different strategies to do without a calculator. So x is equal to 4. Okay, x is a neat number. Okay, though the equation was messy. So x is 4. So what can we do for y? So y, we have got this equation. So let me write this equation down. y is equal to 3.3x minus 7. So let's put this in this equation. So we know y is equal to 3 times 4 is 12, minus 7, so y is 5. Okay, so x is 4 and y is 5. Okay, so what's the equation? So x is 4 and y is 5. So let's check our answer. Five times, so let me write the equation. The first equation is 5 times 4 should be equal to 30 minus 2 times 5. This is 20 and this is 30 minus 10 which is 20. So this equation is right. 
So the second equation is 3 times 4 minus 5 is equal to 7. And that's also right because this is 12 minus 5 is 7.